Binance has announced its 51st launch pool project, Saga. Launch pools have historically been quite lucrative for Binance users, allowing them to earn essentially free tokens by staking BNB and other supported cryptos. Until April 8th, you can earn Saga tokens on Binance simply by staking your BNB or the FDUSD stable coin. You can withdraw the coins you've staked at any time and keep the Saga token rewards. Saga is an innovative layer 1 blockchain protocol offering unique solutions for developers, particularly in the gaming and entertainment sectors. It's designed to enable the creation of chainlets, which are dedicated, parallelized, and interoperable blockchain environments that offer very high scalability. This allows applications deployed on chainlets to avoid transaction bottlenecks, which usually result in high gas fees. The Saga protocol uses the proof-of-stake consensus algorithm, with each chainlet leveraging the security of the Saga mainnet. Developers can choose their preferred monetization model for each chainlet, with fees set by a daily reverse auction among validators. In addition, chainlets are easy to set up, lowering the barrier to entry for blockchain developers. In fact, they can be set up in just a few clicks via Saga's web app. They are also interoperable, meaning that they can easily interact with external blockchain ecosystems. Overall, developers have complete control over their chainlets, ensuring customizability and application-specific optimization. The native token of the Saga protocol is called Saga. It fulfills several key roles in the ecosystem. For starters, Saga allows developers to pay network validators for initializing and maintaining their chainlets. In addition, the token can be staked, providing network security in exchange for staking rewards. It also fulfills a governance role, allowing holders to participate in decisions pertaining to the Saga ecosystem. It's worth noting that the Saga team has announced they will be airdropping more than 15% of all Saga tokens to developers, users, and members of the Saga community. The team has already airdropped a significant amount of tokens through various gaming campaigns, where players participating in eligible gaming tournaments received Saga tokens for free. Seven airdrop campaigns have already ended, but a general community airdrop is still to be announced. The eligibility requirements for the airdrop have been outlined in the project's blog post, and are mostly focused on Saga holders who've staked their tokens after the mainnet launch. The token's total supply is capped at 1 billion, with an initial circulating supply, when listed on Binance, set at 90 million, or 9% of the total supply. Meanwhile, 45 million tokens, or 2% of the total supply, have been allocated for the launch pool campaign. The team plans to unlock the remaining tokens by 2031, following a vesting schedule outlined in the Binance Research Report. About a third of the entire supply has been allocated for ecosystem development, with the remaining tokens distributed between Binance Launch Pool Rewards, Airdrop, Investors, Core Contributors, and Foundation. If you are interested in earning Saga tokens on Binance Launch Pool, the first thing you'll need is a Binance account. You can open a new account using our link in the description. Keep in mind that only users who complete an identity verification process with Binance are eligible to participate in token farming on Binance Launch Pool. Once your account is ready, you'll need some BNB or FDUSD tokens to stake. If you already own these tokens, you can deposit some to your Binance account. Otherwise, Binance offers plenty of ways of purchasing options with either crypto or fiat. After your account is verified and loaded up with some BNB and or FDUSD, head over to the menu on the top side of the Binance interface and select more. Then, go to Launchpad and Launch Pool. Next, find the available Saga farming pools. Depending on which tokens you want to stake, select the FDUSD pool or BNB pool. 80% of the Saga token rewards will be distributed to BNB stakers, while the FDUSD staking pool will receive 20% of the rewards. However, this doesn't necessarily mean that you will earn more Saga tokens if you stake BNB rather than the stablecoin. It all depends on the size of your stake relative to the size of the entire staking pool. The Saga launch pool will close on April 9th at midnight UTC. After the pools close, Binance plans to list Saga with a seed tag, informing users that the cryptocurrency might be more volatile and risky than more established cryptos. Saga will be traded in five trading pairs, including Bitcoin, Tether, and BNB. It is worth noting that recent launch pool projects that were featured on Binance, such as Portal, Altlayer, and XAI, all generated double-digit AP rewards. What's more, several projects experienced significant rallies after their respective exchange listings. Alt layer, for example, gained close to 80% since its launch pool concluded. Meanwhile, XAI token, one of the most recent launch pool projects, surged by more than 35% merely a week after it started trading on Binance. 
Will you be participating in the Saga launch pool? Let us know in the comments. If you find this video helpful or informative, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Good luck on your crypto journey.